Hello, I am going to do another Ritika tutorial. Uh, it's been a very popular product over the uh, quarantine. So I want to go ahead and just touch base again and show you guys how to use the kits. Uh, so the kit is going to come with a 8 ounce. Um, so you're going to get an 8 ounce of a color of your choice. And you're also going to get the 16 ounce of a color of your choice. Then you're going to get the stain, which is an 8 ounce. Um, you're going to get a two-piece graining tool. It's this one and then the smaller one. Um, and then you also get a pair of gloves and a rag. Um, so that's what the kit comes with. It's, you know, the best deal. So I always recommend getting the kit if you're trying to do um, a couple pieces or if you really want a, a true wood look um, so these grading tools are different than the ones that you find elsewhere they are rubbery they don't uh, take up any of the pain as it goes and they're just really good to use um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys real quick how I do this now I am going to first apply the dark um, so I'm going to do two coats of dark you want to make sure that it's shaken well this is really easy it's super easy to apply it's almost like a, a paint okay so you shake the can up good make sure it's stirred up well if you do get one that's a little lumpy just keep stirring stir and stir and stir um, it will end up going back together and getting creamy and smooth just have to stir a lot so what you're gonna do first is apply two coats of your base color now your base color will be the main one that's gonna show more um, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply two coats of dark Ritika really is a great product. You can use this over just about any hard surface. Um, people have done their countertops, they've done their cabinets, of course furniture. Um, it's a great, it's a really good product to have. And there's a lot of different looks that you can get. We have for the liquid wood, there's the light, dark, bleached, gray, and pine. Um, so, you know, just with those, there's a lot of looks that you can get. And then we also offer just about every color of stain that you can think of. So many different looks that you can achieve here. So make sure that when you're applying multiple coats that you always let it dry completely before applying your second coat, except for when you want to run the graining tool through. That you will always do when it's wet. But I like to have a nice solid base before doing that. So I usually apply the two coats. That just seems to be what works best for me. And you don't have to worry about getting it like perfect either. Because the more like uh, brush marks that you have and just inconsistencies, it's good because it really makes it look like wood. Wood isn't perfect, unless it's fake. <laughs> and this is actually a, you know, it's a liquid wood product, so it's not fake wood, but it's not gonna be your solid slab of wood. So you wanna try to make it look as real as possible. So that's our first coat. Now what we're going to do is just let this dry completely before applying our second coat. Now I do wash my my brushes in between coats because um, you don't want it to dry because it will be extremely difficult to get off of your brush. Now these are water-based products so they're super easy to clean up. All you need is a little bit of water, maybe some soap, and then they're clean. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this brush up and let this coat dry. Okay, so real quick, we're going to do the second coat. Um, so it's been drying for about 30 minutes or so. And I did do just a light sand with 220 grit sandpaper because um, sometimes it is a bit rough. Uh, so I just really quickly went over it with 220 grit sandpaper. So now, very simple, straightforward. You just apply your second coat. Get any spots that you may have missed or if it looks really light. And that's it. You're just going to apply that second coat and then we'll let dry for another 30 minutes or so until it's completely dry. And then we will come back and show you the next step. Okay, next step is the second liquid wood color and the graining tool. You want to make sure that you have a bunch of paper towels ready because after just about every swipe, you want to wipe off your graining tool. Um, so you just apply your next coat um, exactly like we did the last two. Shake up your can really well. Make sure it's nice and creamy. And just like we did, you're going to apply this coat. And I don't think I'm going to do the graining tool on these very edges. I think I'm going to leave that just the liquid wood because with the brush strokes, it's still going to look like there's some wood grain there. So I'm not going to worry about using the graining tool and getting it just right on those edges. With this coat, you want to kind of work quickly because this is the one that you we're going to do the wood grain on so you don't want it to dry before you get to that point. So you do need to work somewhat quickly on this coat. Sometimes if you find like a little chunk or something, you can just pick it out. And then when you're doing the grading tool, if you don't like one of the passes or whatever it may be, you can go over it real quick with your paintbrush. You want to keep this brush handy. You don't have to worry about cleaning it just yet as you're doing the grading tool. Um, I like to have it because sometimes I don't like the design that the grading tool makes. So I'll just real quick go over it with the paintbrush. Green tool and my paper towels. Take your tool, just start at one end and pull up. Pretty 
situation like. All of this there really isn't a spot that I don't like. Maybe I could just get something going in here. A bit too much. So what I'll do is I'll just come through here and just go over that. I did not like this spot here. better. That looks really good. I'm definitely a perfectionist, unfortunately. Sometimes it's not a good thing. Um, and I keep going over stuff and I'll keep trying to fix it or make it look a little bit different. Okay, put that down for now. Now with these edges, I'm just going to go around and just get rid of any marks that I did with the grainy tool. We just have to wait for that to dry and then we are going to add our stain okay so you can really see that graining tool the grain coming out here and then when we stain it it's going to take the stain different colors and it's going to look really really cool okay so now i'm going to go wash my brush wait for this to dry and then we will do the stain Okay, so now it's time to stain. Put on a pair of gloves. And then I like to just use paper towel. Um, this is like one or two paper towels. I just kind of fold it up into a small little square um, rectangle. And then I am going to be using Varathane's Kona. This is, there's really the two stains that are great for Retique It. Uh, some of the others, they just don't work well with it. Uh, they don't take well. So really, it's the Retique It brand gel stains and the Varathane uh, premium fast dry stains that will work well with Retique It. Remember, it's got to be the premium fast dry stains. It dries in one hour, not the regular stains. Um, and then the Retique It stains. Those are really the recommended stains to use over the Retique It liquid wood. Um, and now I want you guys to remember, I, I don't think I mentioned this, you can put this over anything. Um, you know, painted surfaces, wood surfaces, you can do tile, uh, you know, laminate, pretty much any hard surface. You can put this on there and you don't have to sand or strip. Um, you know, for some, some looks you need to strip back the paint or strip off the varnish and sand down the wood uh, for this you just apply it right over clean the piece really well I like to do a quick scuff sand with a 220 grit just real quick go over the whole piece clean it real good wipe it down let it dry and then it's ready to go um, that's all I do so prep is super super easy for this so you really don't have to worry about you know, doing any of the sanding and staining when it comes to using Retique It. It's one of the reasons why it's such a great product because there's just, you don't have to go through all that work. Okay, so I like to use a paper towel, you can use a rag, you can use a brush, whatever you want. You wanna make sure that you have dry paper towels ready to go too um, because you're gonna need to wipe back the stain, any excess stain. Um, so I just dip my paper towel in here And then I just rub it on. Okay. 
is really all there is to it. This is the Kona color Varathene stain. All of the nooks and crannies up there. Now I like to go with like the way the wood grain is. So like on the sides, this little piece here, it's going to be going all the way around that way. Then here it's up and down. So I like to just make sure that I have it going with the wood grain. Now the very thing is oil based, so it's a little bit stinkier than the Retigit water based, um, and it's not easy to clean up. But I find that the fair thing gives you more color than the Retigit does. So when I really want that deep, deep color, I'll use the very thing stain. much stain whatsoever. It did not require a lot. going to take your clean paper towels. We are going to wipe back the excess. You see how it lightens up a little bit there when you remove the excess stain. That's the color that I was going for. That's perfect. And now when you're doing this, wiping back the excess stain, you can always leave a little bit behind. You don't really want to leave a lot behind. Um, but when you go in the up and down motions, you can press harder in some areas than others to remove more in some spots versus others. And then you can always go back to and add to more spots. So like that one spot, I want a little bit more. Right here, because it took off a bit too much. There. I want my edges to be darker and lighter in the middle. Pull that back in. Remember, go with the green when you're removing the stain, too. Make sure you're going with the way that you want the green to show.
just see that green popping through here. It's really starting to look like it's natural stained wood. And that's it. Now you guys can really see this wood green really popping out here. And you want to make sure that you do seal it. Um, I'm going to let this dry for a good you know, day or two before I seal it. Only because I'm using the oil-based stain and I like to use water-based stain. Um, you're supposed to wait about 72 hours. I usually only wait about two days and it works out for me. but. You know, I, I do recommend waiting the full 72 hours. Um, if you use to the Reticate brand gel stains, those are water-based and you can just apply your top coat after about an hour or two once it dries. Um, but I'm using the oil base, so I wanna just make sure that this sets. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Just put on your top coat and then you're done and ready to stage and ready to show off your piece. Alright guys, I thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.